specifically I was asked how to get a description property from individual paths that resided in the content center um, onto a paths list. So just to start off with, so this is a part that I've got from, from the paths list, um, from the content center. And if I go into the drawing over here, you'll see there that this description over here, copy of hexagon head bolt, product grade C, non-preferred threads are marked with the asterisk. Now, this description over here is actually the description that comes from the family description. So we're wondering how to get a description from the, um, you know, from, from the actual part, from each individual part and not the family. Uh, for instance, we want the description to be a um, M5 hexagon head bolt. So um, going off to my, uh, my assembly over here, we'll see under the Manage tab, we've got your Content Center editor. So select the content center edits over here, allows me then to go and edit this. So right click, family table, okay? Um, and just before I show you this family table, I'm just gonna go back one. Um, if I go to my family properties, you'll notice that the description over here is copy of hexagon head bolts. Now, you know, if I, if I go and just place another one of these bolts, so copy of ISO 46, I'm going to go back here just to show you the issue that, that I am having or with the description. So I'm going to go and place this in over here, but I'm going to now choose change size. And I'm going to choose a M20. Okay, so I've got an M5 and M20. Go back to my drawing file over here. It updates that. And you can see they've both got the same description, but I actually want the description to be M5 hexagon head bolt and M20 hexagon head bolt. So going back to our um, manage tab in our um, in our in our assembly, we can go to content center editor. And in the content center editor, I'm going to go and edit the family table. Now you can see that I've got all these different uh, columns available. So to what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and filter out the columns. And the column I'm looking for will be I properties columns over here. Okay. And you can see that I don't have a description tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column. And then the column name is going to be description. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and map it out to one of the uh, inventor I properties. So over there at the bottom here, I can see project description. And if you just take a look at this, you know, cost, cost center, you know, description, design status, designer, engineer, those look all very familiar, stock number, because these are your I properties that you get in each part that you are at. So project description over there, okay, and I click on okay. So now what I've done is I've mapped that to the, the project description. So let's just go I properties columns again. So there's nothing on there at the moment. So what I'm going to do is, I think I had the M25 by 5. So this one I'm going to say must be M5. Um, and what was it again? Uh, I can't remember. M5. Okay, let's just say M5 uh, bolt hex head. Okay. And then I said, I think it was the one, the 20. So let's go here to M20. I think it was the first one. And then M20 hex head uh, bolt. Okay, so there you can see there, and obviously I'm just gonna, you know, have to go and just change every single one over here. You know, probably going to Excel spreadsheet and editing via there, probably easier, but just for these two purposes of just showing um, how to do this over here. And obviously any other, you know, columns you can, you can put in there and map it to other uh, properties or I properties. Selecting OK. Okay, this brings us, it ends this over here. Published successfully, fantastic. Now, what's going to happen over here now is, um, okay, I've got M20 by 18, M5 by 25. If I go back to my drawing, you'll see that it hasn't updated and nothing has, you know, told me that it's updating, the, you know, the, the little electric bolt is not there. So what I need to do is I need to go and just refresh it. Okay, just says the active document has not been saved. Let's go save this. Okay. Fresh. So what that does, it tells me there's two that has needs to be fresh. And I click on OK. And then it takes the information, the new information that I've got, um, you know, from my content center and it um, copies it into my existing drawings over here. Okay, so once that's done over there, I can just go refresh and let's go to assembly. 
And there you can see my description has updated to what I need it to be. Okay. So there's just a quick, uh, a, a quick uh, video clip showing how to be able to go into our content center. And obviously with, um, you know, sort of content center parts that I'm editing or creating for myself, just go and show a different description for each different part instead of the same family description that you see um, available to you from scratch. Thanks very much for watching.